My name is Tina Larson. I work for Genentech. I'm the Senior Director of Technical Development, Operations, and Engineering. This afternoon I'm going to be talking about um, what we need now in biopharmaceutical manufacturing, really looking to the future of where the industry is going. In my presentation I'll outline four major opportunities I see for innovation in the industry. Those four are improving the consistency of our manufacturing processes, um, looking at better drug delivery um, systems to improve outcomes for our patients, um, developing increasingly sophisticated medicines for our patients in these new novel formats, and the final one is really looking at the facilities where we make our products and improving our facility design in order to meet the needs of our future product requirements. So I think there's, there's several challenges uh, we're facing, um, but they're all, really, they're all really exciting challenges. I think um, those include the delivering these really sophisticated new medicines. So I think taking antibody um, manufacturing now that we are a standard antibody industry, really looking at the next level of delivering even more sophisticated medicines by specific formats, antibody drug conjugates, and really being able to get these out into a marketplace that has increasing pressures. We need to go global. We have increasingly personalized patient populations. We're going to need to make more and more things. They're more complex, and we're going to be able to have to deliver those to patients globally. So there's a plenty of challenges with that. Yeah, I think one of the most amazing opportunities we have is now that we have figured out the, the platforms and the basis for how to do manufacturing, now we have really have the opportunity to, to scale this globally. Um, I think patients in the U.S. have had access to, um, to these sophisticated medicines. Now we really have an opportunity to take these medicines to every patient that needs them ac across the globe. And we're good enough now at antibody manufacturing that that opens up the possibility of doing that. Yeah, so I, I think I go back longer than five years in terms of um, looking at how manufacturing has changed. Uh, I've been uh, with Genentech for almost two decades now, and when I first started there we had no antibody manufacturing. There wasn't an industry there. So I've seen massive changes in the technology of antibody manufacturing, particularly in the last five years. Uh, this concept of MAB industrialization has become very well known in the industry, and I think that shows that we're mature now as an antibody industry, and we really we have the basics down. We have platforms. We know we can do it. And so now we're really focusing on more life cycle management, looking at how to manage CMOs, how to have supply chain management, really ensuring consistency of products over their life cycle, as opposed to just figuring out how to even make these products. So I think one of the ones that I'm, I'm particularly interested in is the use of single-use technology and seeing how that will evolve. Um, several years ago, I saw the first single-use buffer bag implemented at Genentech um, in 2002. And since then, we've done nothing but implement more and more single-use technologies you know, across the industry. And now we're going to the point where we have entire facilities where you throw away every aspect of your manufacturing equipment. And so I think in the future that opens up a lot of options in terms of flexible manufacturing, potentially manufacturing in, in emerging markets. And I'm really interested to see um, where the industry is going to go with that technology. Yeah, so I, um, I keep coming back to BDP Week because I think it is a great chance to watch um, where the industry is going. Uh, I think it gives a very good sense over the years what people are interested in, both what people from the innovator companies as well as what vendors are really targeting for the industry. And so I learn a lot about the trends in the industry as a whole. And of course, it's a great chance to just catch up with colleagues and, and have a lot of individual conversations about what's happening.